might just miss out. So he needs to come up near his winning best here and put a bit of pressure on the rest. But this is just a 2.3 tariff dive at not the best time. Well, he kept it safe, so he's going to need some good high scores from the judges. judges he's not got that advantage seven, of a seven, high score to multiply seven, it by. Seven, seven, but he's been consistently moving up. He's gone from 10th, 8th, 6th into 4th before that. Bit of pace judgment, I think, is uh, perhaps easy. Reach off side L of Germany starting us off again. Relaxed, that, especially in all the circumstances. Okay, you see him launching seven, himself half, at that seven, height. Six and a half, six and a half, seven, Hugging his knees half, as close as he can. I oh, want a bit of a rewind. He's got a strange program. He's got a 2.3 here, then he's got two stonking three six and three fours. Up, Jonathan Sukau of Switzerland, currently in third. Now, there were gaps in the medal positions, and he's got to try and extend his lead if he can here. That might well have helped him. It was only Difficulty of 2.3 though, so he won't have that advantage of the scores being multiplied by a high number. We'll be looking for some generous scores. He brought the second best points tally from the limited difficulty dives earlier into this. Only down in the six fives for Italians, which is pretty relevant in a junior competition. Andrea Cosoli with a low tariff 2.3 back one and a half somersault piked. The rest of his dives are two threes and a three one and the opening 2.6. So sometimes the divers really aren't far enough along in their career to have confidently assembled five or six higher tariff dives. Better to do what you can do decently. 